More than 1400 Fulton County inmates could be released from jail on bond if the district attorney's office can't meet an upcoming deadline. Fulton County's district attorney Fonnie Willis says her office is understaffed and in desperate need of more help. Our Joe Hinky spoke with District Attorney Willis today about the specific cases that are in question here. Joe? Well, Jennifer, from assaults to sexual offenses and murders, Fonnie Willis tells me the 1,400 plus inmates in question have committed those crimes and others in every part of Fulton County, impacting every neighborhood. A historic backlog of cases and understaffing, though, is making it challenging to indict each of those cases by a September deadline. Behind each of the cases Fulton County prosecutors are working to have indicted by a September 13th deadline is the face of a victim. If that deadline is not met, their suspected attackers could leave the Fulton County Jail. If we do not have the appropriate manpower to properly investigate those cases and bring forth charges, by law, they will be given bonds and can possibly get out of jail. And it's not just the homicides, it's the sexual offenses and the other dangerous offenders as well. Some of the crimes in question, the murder of Sequoria Turner last summer, an eight-year-old girl hit by a bullet off University Avenue as she sat in her mother's car, and Kennedy Maxey killed in December, a seven-year-old also shot in a car going past Phipps Plaza. Willis last month said those two cases are possibly related to gang violence, and she requested the GBI to assist. Today, GBI Director Vic Reynolds confirmed his agents are working to speed up the investigation for those cases. It's a priority item for us without speaking too much about uh, the, the facts of those cases, but they're two uh, extremely high profile cases. We were asked specifically to come in to again be a force multiplier to look over what has been done to see if anything else can be done. The GBI is only assisting in a select few cases, though Willis says there are thousands of other cases that have piled up due to a perfect storm. We need those funds. And that is why before the Fulton County Board of Commissioners on Wednesday, she demanded funds to hire more attorneys and investigators. The backlog includes cases from what she calls mismanagement before she took office, the COVID-19 pandemic when cases piled up as courtrooms closed, and now a flood of cases as crime has been on the rise around the county. We are asking for resources for manpower to do this job. The specific ask, more than $7 million to address each part of the backlog seen here. Willis says the majority of the funds will go to hiring new staff she has already interviewed and has on standby. Willis asked for that seven plus million dollars in funds as a band-aid. She is hopeful Fulton County commissioners could approve that during their August meeting. She's also asking though for an extra $50 million next year to hire even more staff and build her office out in a way that it can avoid future backlogs.